There's a reason x else if function is one of the most used formulas and combining it with the and or or functions only makes it more powerful. But that's also where things start to go wrong. So in this video, I'll walk you through how if works and how to combine it with the and or or function. Let's get started. For the examples, I'll be using this travel claim data containing the claim ID, whether it's a first time claim, the claim amount, whether they provided a medical report, and the number of days abroad. Okay, let's say we want to classify claims greater than or equal to $4,000 as high value and everything else as standard. This is perfect for the if function. The first argument is a logical test which must evaluate to true or false. You can think of this as the condition that must be met for a high value claim. So here I want to check whether the claim amount is greater than or equal to 4,000. If that returns true, we want the formula to insert the text high value. Note that the text needs to be wrapped inside double quotes. And then if it's false, we want it to return the text standard. Close parentheses on if. Let's copy it down. And now we have each claim classified into a level. Now the if function on its own can only handle one condition. So let's look at combining if with and to allow for more. To expedite processing, we can auto approve claims that are less than $4,000 and where they have provided a medical report. So for this, we need the AND function. Let's just look at it in isolation first. Here, we simply enter our conditions separated by commas. The first is where the claim amount is less than $4,000, comma. The second one is where the medical report cell equals yes. Close parentheses on AND. Let's copy it down. We can see AND returns true where both conditions are met and false if one or more are not met. We can see claims five, 8 and 14 meet both conditions. Let's look at how we use AND with IF to return something more useful. I'm just going to copy the AND formula and then IF will paste in my AND formula inside the logical test, comma. If both conditions are met, AND will return true. In that case, I want it to return the text AUTO APPROVE. Otherwise, return the text REVIEW. Close parentheses on IF. Let's copy it down. And we can see there are three claims that can be auto approved and the rest need reviewing. And those are the ones in line with where the AND function returned true. What if only one condition needs to be met? That's where the OR function comes in handy. Let's say we want to save some money by offering an early settlement for 70% of the claim where it's a first time claim or if the days abroad is less than 10. Again, we can use the OR function in the IF function's logical test argument. Like AND or takes a series of logical tests. The first is if the claim is a first claim, that is, this cell equals yes. The second is where the days abroad are less than 10. Close parentheses on OR, comma. If either of these are true, the OR function returns true. If both are false, it will return false. If they're true, we want to take the claim amount times 70% or 0.7. And notice because this is a formula, I don't wrap it in double quotes like I did for the text earlier. Otherwise, we can return zero, or we can return a blank by entering two double quotes. Close parentheses on if, copy it down. And with that, we have the settlement offer amounts for the claims that meet either one of our conditions. If you get stuck writing if formulas, don't forget, you've got the function wizard up to the left of the formula bar. And here you can get pointers for each of the arguments. You can see there's a tooltip down here as you step through each one. Now in the AND and OR examples, I only tested two conditions, but these functions can take up to 255 conditions. However, I'd say if you have more than five, there's probably a better approach. It's also worth noting that Excel supports a variety of comparison operators you can use in your conditions, enabling you to create flexible logic checks. You've just seen how powerful if formulas can be when you're making decisions based on logic, but formulas are only one part of working efficiently in Excel. If you want to build spreadsheets that are easier to update, harder to break, and just flow better, there's one trick I use every single day that makes everything fall into place. Click here to watch it next. I'll see you there.